heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal all right so gerald washington jerrell miller july 29th is going to be an undercard of adrian broner garcia it's gonna be a good damn fight itself but um now i'm breaking down the styles of these two fighters and i'm, I'm trying to gauge what i think is going to happen i mean anything's going to, going to happen right especially you know in sports and boxing um you know jerrell miller naturally wants to come forward be aggressive likes to bang away rather hitting you on your shoulders your chest your arms your body shots up top he could be a very nasty fighter man if you want to stand and trade with him against the level of opposition that i've seen him against all right um on paper, Gerald Washington is going to be his toughest fight to date. Uh, Washington is a guy who likes to use the back foot, likes to use his jab, wants to move. You know, this is some, somebody that I spoke to an interview before, and he told me that he looks up to guys like Floyd Mayweather, all those smaller guys, but Floyd Mayweather, uh, Vladimir Klitschko, those type of defensive first type of fighters. And there's nothing wrong with that. He even told me himself he likes to think when he's in the ring. You know what I mean? Um... I think it's going to take more than just jabbing in this fight because I feel as if, just my own personal opinion, in the uh, Deontay Wilder fight, I thought he got comfortable by just jabbing and just staying his distance, moving around, you know, trying to give Wilder different looks, but just using his jab. And he was doing great the first four rounds. And I think Wilder kind of picked up on that rhythm and then he set him up with that right hand. Uh, at least that's just what I saw. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, I think that Gerald is going to have to make Jarrell respect him. He can't just use the jab. He may win the first few rounds, kind of like how Wilder against, you know, in the Wilder fight until Jarrell just kind of either, you know, and Jarrell, again, man, Jarrell is a is a very nifty. That That is a nifty big guy against the level that I've seen him against. And when I watch him train and see highlight clips of him training, he's like that dude in a nightclub. <laughs> He's like that dude in the nightclub where you walk in, he's like, damn, look at that big ass dude on the dance floor dancing like that. He's like that guy, you know, very nimble on his feet for a big man. You know what I'm saying? So I think that he will find a way to get past Gerald's jab eventually. And I think he will try to get close and then try to just open up from there. So Gerald's going to have to throw some right hands and get uh, Gerald's respect early, I would think. Get his respect, man, because you don't want him just walking through you or trying to walk you down. And uh, But I think Miller may try to force him into a firefight, man, to where he's going to try to get past that jab or find a way to get past it or jab when Gerald is jabbing to throw him off and then come over the top with overhand rights and left hooks. And I think he may try to force Gerald into a fight, like try to make him fight. You know what I mean? But um, I think when Gerald does sit down he has a pretty decent right hand he landed some good right hands against mansoor uh I've, I've seen him land some good right hands he landed a few good right hands against wilder you know what i mean uh but i think if he sat down even a little bit more and put more behind it i think he could have a better result now that's just me watching from afar man so you know i'm sure his trainer they you know they want to have a, a good training camp and do what they think they need to do to win um miller you know, like I said, one thing he has going for him is I think I think the dude has a good chin, man. Like I know he's he's um, competed in other uh, combat sports, and he was actually pretty damn good. And uh, was a K one that he was competing in. Um, never been knocked out or anything like that in the pros. Uh, he's you know, and he's a guy. He's a young guy. You know, uh, hasn't really fought top level competition yet, but he's been in a lot of uh, training camps. But he was in the Klitschko camp he was in Klitschko camp when uh, Klitschko was preparing for David Hay and at that time Jarrell only had two fights under his belt you know so he's been in a lot of training camps um staying in shape I know people get on because of his size but he the dude he, he lifts he lifts a lot of weights you know what I mean so hopefully he's practicing more on cardio these both of these dudes gonna do what they have to do man but just his cardio I think he has good footwork I think he moves his head pretty good from what I've seen but we haven't seen him in a drag out fight, you know, ninth, tenth round when he's dead tired and he has to he may be down on the cards and he has to come back. And, you know, you haven't really seen him face that type of adversity uh, where at least Gerald, you've seen him against Mansoor, where he had to hold on a little bit and, 
you know, the, the fight went deep. And then you had a pressure guy like Amir Mansoor bringing that heat on you. Um, and that's one thing I can say is uh, he has been in there with somebody who's going to bring some heat on him. You know, but Jarrell is a little bit bigger than Mansoor. You know what I mean? I, he he, uh, he may be a little bit heavier. Uh, you know, just the, he, you know, just the physicality may take place in, in, in this fight. And I'm curious to see how Gerald uh, adapts to that. He's somebody that came over from football, man. So, you know, I don't think physicality is going to be uh, anything new to him. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, but this is going to be a great fight, man. What do you guys think that are some of the things these guys could do to win this fight? I'm going to drop a lot of these little videos, man, just giving my opinion about the fight. I think it's a great fight. Um, domestically, all over the world, we need all of our fighters fighting each other. But there are some great domestic fights that can take place all over the world, man. Up in Canada, I would love to see uh, Dylan Carmen fight, uh, what's my man's name, Oscar Rivas. You know what I mean? I think that fight should be made up there in Canada. Out in Germany, you got uh, guys like Tom Schwartz and Michelle Wallace and Ajay Kabayel. I think those would be some good entertaining fights. Out in the UK, uh, I believe Nathan Gorman is still fighting Nick Webb. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm not talking about just AJ and the Furies, like the big names, but just even some of the prospects that are coming up, man. You know what I mean? You got Cash Ali out there. Um, just some really good fights out there you can get made. Khan Sheehan's up and coming out there. You know, so, and then over here in America, you know, this fight is a good fight. You know, and then we still got guys like Gregory Corbin, Trey Lippy Morrison, Cassius Cheney. There's a lot of these fights that can be made. Trevor Bryan is somebody that I would love to see step up and get involved with one of these fights. Maybe fight a Dominic Brazil. Um, Israel Gono, I know he is a Polish fighter, but, you know, he's with Heyman. Uh, you saw him on the PBC card when um, when my man uh, uh, Washington was fighting Deontay Wilder. You saw Israel Gono versus Dominic Brazil. You got Leron Mitchell out here. A lot of undefeated guys walking around, you know what I mean? So we need to, you know, make more of these type of fights. But I like this fight right here, man. I think it's a very, very, uh, at least on paper, man, it's a very good matchup right here. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out.